Paul, that haze rolling in, I couldn't tell if it was fog or just all that smoke from the fireworks <laughs> people were, were blowing up last night. It's it's definitely the fog. I mean, a okay. tiny fraction of it is still some leftover whatever the fireworks put into the atmosphere. But yeah, the fog is going to be tough to shake for the next several days. But like last night, the fog is really going to be more low clouds as opposed to the fog sitting right at ground level. It's a deeper marine layer and that allows it to kind of be a little more diffuse in the lower, lower levels of the atmosphere thanks to the lack of weight of the atmosphere on top of us. It's just a cool weather pattern overall and one that is going to continue for the next several days. But as the temperatures continue to run below normal, our air quality with that onshore breeze is going to continue to improve. We did have a few yellow dots on the map earlier today, far inland in the East Bay and then in the uh, the Santa Clara Valley and around the south end of the bay. But it's going to be green dots across the board as we head through the rest of this week and into the weekend. If you're looking for a return to actual warmth farther inland, I mean, you have warmth, but you're looking for heat in the month of July. There is a signal towards above average temperatures farther down the line. The six to 10 day outlook, which takes us right to the midpoint of the month, shows a good chance of above normal temperatures and a similar chance of those above normal temperatures continuing into the eight to 14 day range, which takes us past the midpoint of July. So enjoy the free air conditioning while it lasts. Soon enough, those inland temperatures are going to be up into the upper 80s and 90s, but not the next several days. Sunshine on the horizon, but it was really tough to shake the clouds over San Francisco today, so the temperature only reached 63 degrees. 61 in Pacifica, hey, at least you made it above 60. That's not going to happen too often over the next few days, but the warmest spots inland were only in the 70s to around 80 degrees. We're going to see that fog and low cloud cover spreading back out and covering most of the Bay Area as we head into early Thursday morning. Again, it's a mix of some fog at ground level and a lot of just low clouds. It's a gray start either way. Inland, they'll dissipate by 9 o'clock, 10 at the latest. But like today, around the bay, still at lunchtime, you're going to see mostly gray skies overhead, some peaks of sunshine over San Francisco as we head into the afternoon. But along the coast, no sky July is in full effect for you know, the next several days at least. Maybe by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week, you'll get more sunshine to appear through the clouds. Temperatures drop down to the low to mid 50s tonight. Tomorrow, high temperatures are going to be a good 5 to 10 degrees below average on a widespread basis. Some spots inland in the North Bay and inland in the East Bay are going to be closer to 15 degrees below average average only low 70s for most of the North Bay. The Santa Clara Valley only hits the mid 70s. 70s inland in the East Bay. When Antioch, Brentwood, Fairfield, places like that are only in the upper 70s in July, this is an unusual weather pattern. Low to mid 60s around the bay with upper 50s right along the coast. The return to near normal temperatures is still several days away, but it happens by Monday and Tuesday. So a slight little warm up couple degrees worth Saturday and Sunday. It's going to be hard to notice, but it will happen. And then we kind of step on the accelerator for our temperatures by Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. That sends us back well into the 80s for inland parts of the Bay Area by Tuesday and Wednesday. And those hot spots will be up into the low to mid 90s by the middle of next week. Again, it's free air conditioning for now. So just enjoy the lower utility bills while they last. All right. Thanks, Paul. Time for